Our third speaker is Nick. Nick will be giving his introduction speech. It will be a 46-minute speech. I believe this is his icebreaker. An introduction of me. This 46-minute speech gives us a look at one of our new members here at TGIF. This member started writing speeches for his high school FFA chapter and wasn't quite ready to give it up. This member joined our club to one day become a public speaker professionally, as well as find a sense of community during these strange times. Please give a warm welcome to Nick. Thank you. As introduced, my name is Nick Velasquez. That's V as in Victor, E L A Z as in zebra, Q as in quarantine, U E Z as in zebra. I come from small town Missouri where nobody can spell or pronounce my last name. I've heard plenty of different attempts like Nick Veliquez, Valquez, and most interesting of all was Nick Molasses. This crazy old man thought my last name was the weird, dark, and syrupy substance used in like gingerbread and baked beans. I didn't even know what molasses was until that afternoon. After doing some research on the internet about molasses, I started to believe that that old man may not have been so crazy after all. It turns out that Nick Velasquez guy has a lot of similarities to molasses. As I said earlier, molasses is dark in appearance, which can be tied to my family roots. I am a Mexican American male, the Mexican side coming from my dad. My dad grew up very poor on his dad's farm in Mexico. He moved to the USA to pursue the American dream, which is where he met my mother, who was also born in small town, Missouri. Just like sugar cane and sugar beets, my mom and dad mixed their DNA together and created me, or molasses in this metaphor. Alongside me, I have an older brother who turned 21 last year. Take my word for it, he is excited about that number, if you can catch my drift. I've also got a younger sister who is going into her senior year of high school in the fall. I'm right in the middle at the age of 19 with a small business in video editing, a full-time job as a computer technician, and a proud owner of a confetti gun. <laughs> Another defining trait that me and molasses have is syrupy. When I say syrupy, I don't mean runny, because if you could see my bottom half right now, you know that I don't do too much of that. One definition of syrupy is excessively sentimental. I like to hold on tightly to objects that have been given to me by others. For example, my FFA Ag Advisor gave me one of those large black binder clips for me to hold on to for good luck the day I gave my first speech ever. Although he likely passed it on to me just because he wanted to get rid of it, I kept it in the pocket of my blue corduroy jacket. And I kept it all those years of high school until I returned it back to him on the day of my graduation. I'd like to think that, that luck he gave me all those years ago will come back around to him someday. Finally, molasses is weird, just as I am. I like guitars and motorcycles, but my favorite movie is Wally. Despite black being my entire wardrobe, my favorite color is neon purple. I can be completely mute in one room and the loudest in another. I will be frantically searching all over the house for my keys and they're sitting there right in the palm of my hand. Molasses is used in a wide range of recipes, just like my wide range of passions, interests, and quirks. The most important thing to take away from this speech is that molasses can be consumed alone, but it is better when combined with other ingredients. I'm at my absolute best when I'm around other people, even if it takes some time for me to warm up to them. In my eyes, there is nothing more valuable than the memories you make with another person, big or small. These memories start off with the family that you grew up with for better or worse. They continue to branch out to other members of your community. This includes the peers you can call friends, teachers, like mentioned before, and eventually 
club members. Those memories are bound to get pretty weird. Like that one time that I blew off a confetti gun in the middle of my speech. That was pretty wild. Thank you all sincerely for adding me to the variety of ingredients here at TGIF. As introduced, my name is Nick Molasses. Thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you, Nick. That was a beautiful, beautiful icebreaker. Very well done. Uh, your years of speaking in high school definitely show. And we definitely enjoyed your speech very much.